Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm working on an F-150 today. It's an FX2. I just got here to start on this job. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna use some of the, the brand new products. You can see how dirty the wheels are. I'm gonna use some of my brand new products from the Grip Launch line and from the brand new, my Signature Series line. I mean, that's stuff that has been in the works since the beginning. I'm back to my roots now. Forever Rinseless is pretty amazing. <clears throat> See how dirty it is? So I'm gonna use Forever Rinseless on this thing. Uh, it washes and protects. It's basically, if you guys are familiar with my line, if Infinite Use Detail Juice and Infinite Force Field, my acrylic coating with the hardener, if those two had a love affair they would produce a superhero love child called Forever Rinseless. Uh, it's basically the Infinite Use Detail Juice with the acrylic, with the hardener. I mean, it's, it's an amazing solution. It's super slick, super glossy, and it protects for a good long time. You can use it as a standalone uh, protective product, or you can use it um, to basically maintain Infinite Force Field. So uh, I'm going to go go into this truck right now. I'm gonna get the interior done, then we'll be back and I'll show you some shots of uh, the exterior. Um, I'm probably <clears throat> not gonna bother using my antimicrobial everything cleaner uh, on the exterior because uh, I don't need it to be antimicrobial. I mean, it's more important that the interior get wiped down with that. Uh, it does work fantastic on wheels and tires, but I'm actually gonna use the uh, the products for my grip launch line uh, for the wheels and tires but as you can see and I'll go through this again I'll do another update on what I take on mobile jobs but you can see microfiber towels a little stool I got my generator that's a Briggs and Stratton 3000 a little bit overkill for what I'm doing but I use it to uh, run my camper air conditioning um, some pads I've got my Harbor Freight DA it's pretty much the only polisher I use if I'm not using my rotary a little step ladder I've got six gallons of water I got all my grip launch products there all my infinite lineup there with the force field protection system a couple extra buckets and stuff um, extra extension cord and I got my vacuum back there so nothing fancy but this is all I need that's all you need on mobile jobs so I'm gonna stop yapping and get back to work I'm gonna get this interior all cleaned up and then I'll bring you back for some of the exterior. I to just uh, do a little demo of Gary Dean Signature Series, uh, Back to My Roots, three products that is all you need, about 95% of any time you're gonna detail. This is the Forever Rinseless product. It's basically like if Infinite Use Detail Juice and Infinite Force Field Coating had a love child he would be amazing superhero just like this so um forever rinseless ready to go now this is the non-production batch uh, in the production batch you will use three quarters of an ounce which will be three capfuls of the product in one gallon of water so i've got my gallon of water i'm gonna put there you go three quarters of an ounce in there Notice this is about a quarter of an ounce left. Now you can use all of that. I think that you'll have some streaking issues in the sun. Mix it up in the bucket a little bit and then you'll pre-soak your towels. But for all intents and purposes, I've already got my uh, mixture mixed for the pre-soak. So I'm gonna go ahead soak this guy down a uh, pump sprayer would be way easier to deal with like a uh, garden sprayer but anyway I've got this portion soaked and the what the pre-soak does is it starts to break down and encapsulate the dirt and grime and lift it off the surface so that when you go back with your wash towel you can cleanly and easily lift it off the surface and put it into the towel which you'll never put back into the clean wash bucket with the Gary Dean wash method check that out on YouTube so I'm gonna take a towel 
out of my bucket. I'm going to give it a, just a slight ring. I'm going to start from top to bottom. Man, this stuff smells amazing. It smells like cherries. Very potent cherry. Notice I'm not wiping in and rubbing in and all that stuff. That creates swirl marks. So do what you can to get the dirt off in one swipe if possible. And you should be golden. So now take the Gary Dean wash method uh, 16 by 24 waffle weave drying towel. Just dry it off. And so the surface now is not only clean, very clean, but it is protected and it is slick and glossy to no end. This stuff, I mean, you can feel the acrylic and the other polymers creating a slick surface when you use this. You know you're using Forever Rinseless when you use Forever Rinseless. Super slick, super amazing, super clean, and that's what you want. I'll bring you over here a little closer in. You can see from here the difference between the fender and the rear door and that door that I did. It's starting to rain now, which is very convenient. That's how I roll. It's what we do around here in Florida. We deal with rain. You can see the Forever Rinseless Solution. There's no mistake that, the, that every molecule of water is blended with the acrylic and the other polymers in that bucket. You can see it. So, got a lot of dirt on the towel. Never going to use that surface on the paint again, nor is that towel going to ever go back into my wash bucket. I'm going to load some more towels in there and get to work. Rain or shine, got to get her done. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work on this. I'll come back when I clean those wheels. I'll do that after the wash. All right, so now I'm going to use the uh, Grip Launch wheel cleaner. It's pretty amazing. Now, the biggest benefit to the Grip Launch line is that it's all ready to go. You don't have to mix anything. Um, they're, they're all brand new formulas. They're not not even based on the other products. They're brand new formulas uh, using different raw materials that get a similar amount of work done, but they're ready to go. It's going, the Grip Launch line is going to allow you to take the product straight from where you buy them from to your vehicle and get amazing results. That's what that line is about. So this is the uh, wheel and grind cleaner. I just like to saturate everything. Let the cleaner do its job. This is more of a basic detail. I'm not gonna bother with the wheel barrels. I mean, that's an add-on. That's, that's the next step up, which this guy didn't go with. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use the water from, the, the rest of the water from the, uh, the wash. Um, grab a black towel. So I'm going to take this black towel. I'm going to take the green, one of the green towels that I used to wash because they're not real dirty. This one looks dirty, but it's not. And this is what I'm going to use to dry. black towel. I'm going to use this to clean the wheel and tire.
not incredibly complicated. I'm gonna go ahead in here in the fender wells and just give that a wipe down just to make it not look so bad. Now again, I would do more on a higher end detail, but for this one right here, clean and shiny. That's all we're doing. So now I'm just drying the wheel. This damp microfiber towel. And there we go. Clean as a whistle. Easy to do, not complicated. Got three more to left to do. But we'll get on that. Alright, guys, now I'm going to show you the application of the Grip Launch tire gel. Got a foam applicator pad. I sell those on detailjuice.com. Um, if it's the first time that this formula has been used on a tire, you always want to clean the tire first to get rid of any browning you can get off, which is the, uh, the browning is actually the preservative in the rubber and centrifugal force pushes it out. So you want to remove that preservative and make your tires look black. I didn't go all the way as, as I didn't clean it as well as I could have. Uh, I didn't use a brush. but. The detail that I'm doing doesn't warrant that, and that's that's important. So anyway, I've got my uh, applicator prime, and what I do is I just slop on a little bit first, okay? Get the majority of the area saturated. You're going to use a little bit more the first time you use this, because this actually has a penetrant in it that will help protect from dry rot. So it's gonna soak in quite a bit the first, the first coat or first application that you do. And it's not gonna leave the surface as glossy as it could be. So you may have to do a second coat the first time you apply this stuff. Now, you'll use less after you've laid down that first coat. So get everything coated really evenly and then just let it dry. Part of the reason you get sling from a lot of tire shines is not necessarily, well, it's not only the, the, the raw materials they're using to compose the gel, but it's also that you get a lot of the gel trapped in the tread. And whenever it's trapped in the tread, that's just a pulled up body of gel that literally will sling off out onto the paint if you don't remove that before you uh, let your customer drive the vehicle away. So I do everything I can to make sure the tread is free of buildup of the gel. So that is it. That's the Grip Launch Tire Gel. Gives a nice medium shine, that's what I prefer. Um, all that discoloration will go away as it dries. So I'm gonna pack it up and show you guys the final results because I am done with this puppy. All right, as you can see by my face, dripping sweat and a little bit of uh, rain is happening it is hot here anyway so this is a I think it's a 2013 f-150 uh, it is absolutely raining out I put one coat of the grip launch tire gel on the tires and that's the primer coat and that will soak in and allow uh, the next coat not to soak in so that you can tune it to the look that you want. However, it's raining. I'm not gonna bother with that second coat. But you can see how nice and clean the truck is. I wish you could feel it. Uh, you also notice that it's beating up quite nicely in the rain from the Forever Rinseless. That product, honestly, is the best product I have ever developed, ever. It is absolutely amazing. It is a 
pleasure to use. Uh, you can even use it on your interior to wipe everything down. You notice that this looks far cleaner than it did before, but I didn't really do a lot. All I did was vacuum it out and wipe it all down. I did use Forever Rinseless to wipe the interior down, so all the leather got wiped down and uh, vacuumed everything out. All the door panels, door jams got Forever Rinseless. Uh, wheels, glass, everything. So it is absolutely good to go now. Time to call, call the client and tell him he can come out. But that's it. Again, nothing fancy, but the truck was definitely dirty and needed a good wash, and that's what it got. So, you got questions for me? 813 846 4406. And uh, that's my cell. I can't help you if you don't use the number. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It is a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, what I've got going on. It's a, it's a group to share your experiences and your knowledge or lack thereof to help you to get better results and get more information about my products and my processes. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day.